to make sure that I give you precise information and not to take too much time. If I had gone, I could have run and I could have uh, run upstairs using the steps two by two and I would have asked you, do I look like a handicapped person in saint michel des saint I walked for the first time in uh, trails, in the woods, in the forest. I walked for an hour and 45 minutes. And if I didn't walk more than that, it is because I was uh, led to uh, beaver dams and I couldn't walk uh, any further. So I can personally walk in a very energetic way since two, three weeks ago. And uh, I have been able to run for the first time in my life uh, because I had uh, an accident, uh, an airplane accident. I hit a mountain at 195 kilometers an hour with my own plane. So the sequels, the sequence that I had, I was a multi-trauma and I had a, a very acute pain in the two feet, especially the left foot, and this pain has been there for two years and a half. And since two years and a half, the pain was increasing. It wasn't improving at all. People saw me walking not on my feet but on my ass. I was uh, trying to put my foot on the, on the ground but I couldn't because it was too sensitive, too painful. So it was difficult for me to take a shower because uh, barefooted on a hard surface it is very difficult, very painful and trying to turn around in my shower or very, very painful. I could hardly walk, and the fact of putting my shoes on and be sitting, I was suffering very much. So I was very, very unhappy. So what solution could we find with such problems? We go to the doctors, of course. I went to a place where many people go. People go there from all over Canada. It is the Notre Dame Hospital, the pain center. This doctor is known throughout the world. He's a major specialist. And he would, he would try to stop my problem with tents, but it is very difficult uh, to put tents under the foot and then put your socks and your shoes and you have to put uh, slippers once you get home. You have that little electronic box here and you have the, the wires along your leg. So he also offered me physiotherapy treatments, $70 a visit, and it wasn't uh, doing any good because my pain was very, very hard very severe. It was a neurologic problem after the, the plane crash. So I was using al also antidepressive medication and uh, finally the very last possible solution, you have to think twice about it, it is a, an electrode in the backbone permanently in the backbone and you have a little control to uh, control the pain but uh, there is a great risk of paralysis. I've seen this on a video. So a friend of mine had a room art machine. He called me and he said, Pierre, uh, why don't you come here? I'll try uh, my machine on you. After two treatments, I have 40% less pain. After three weeks, of treatment, 80% less pain. I buy the machine myself. After a month and a half, I have 90% less pain. Today, 95% less pain, and I can walk as I walk, as I like. So my doctor, who is known throughout the world, didn't want to give me a prescription. He says, I'm known throughout the world. 
I can't prescribe, I cannot prescribe such a machine. So I gave him the name of a doctor who prescribed it, and he said, well, go ahead and see him. So I go to see a doctor who doesn't, doesn't know me at all, and I gave him a one-page-and-a-half report, and I say, my doctor didn't want to prescribe this machine because he's known throughout the world. And he says, for myself, even if I'm known throughout the world, I'm going to prescribe this machine for you. It's not the first time I prescribed this machine. You save money for the government. You don't need any operations. You don't need any treatments. I'm going to prescribe this machine for you, and this is my prescription. So this is my own case, but I have another very specific case I'd like to talk to you about. Dr. Drolet said on a cassette, people come to see me and say, but you haven't talked about this and that case. And he says, no, but Dr. Chalebois already said it was good for everything. That means your case is included there. And I want to talk to you about a case which is quite unique, and it proves and demonstrates that this affirmation is very true. And nobody can deny what Dr. Drolet and Dr. Chalebois said. Someone came to my home. She has been sick for the since her birth and she was 21, 29 years of age. There are two persons in the world with this disease, and one of them was cured by sorcerers, but I, she said, I'm not going to see sorcerers <coughs> or witches. Her name is Sylvie. She's here tonight. She has a skin which is very dark. It is uh, full of warps, and it is very rough skin, and it is like a, a skin which is used in a horror film, and she has a skin problem. It looks like a skin cancer, and it's not uh, very interesting to see or to have as a disease. She followed a multitude of diets. She took a lot of pills of all kinds. She saw Defossé and many other supposedly people who could cure her, and she saw all kinds of specialists. And uh, when she was young, uh, she was at the St. Justin Hospital. She has seen different many surgeons. She had uh, skin grafts, 15 skin grafts. She, they tried to do all kinds of things to help her skin become better looking. His father spent $15,000 in different operations in order to uh, take care of his daughter. After four cellular conditioning with three, two, fifteen, and maybe it's equivalent to six, two, ten, with which we have good results. So after two or three treatments, she started to have pink uh, skins. Dry skin is falling off. She has warps falling off, and there are major changes in her eyes. She had black eyes, and uh, her ears were very ugly, and it improved very quickly. And her family, I do not believe it, it's, uh, it's almost uh, impossible to believe. So with Rumart, she became less nervous, more relaxed. She was constipated for a month, and she's not constipated anymore. This with 3, 2, 15. <laughs> 